My name is Steve Babitsky. I'm the president of SEEK. I'm here today with my partner, Jim, James Mangraviti, and we're going to be talking about expert witness depositions. And specifically, we'll be talking about fees. One of the th things that comes up over and over again in depositions is the amount that the expert witness has been paid. And expert witnesses need to be comfortable with their answers and need to have answers that have credibility. So we're going to do a demonstration with Jim about what happens when you're asked about expert witness fees and how that can impact your career as an expert witness. Mr. Mangravita, you're a patent expert, correct? Correct. And you charge $600 an hour? That's right. And you've testified for this defendant on more than one occasion, correct? That's correct. And if I told you that through discovery we learned that you've testified for this defendant 14 or 15 times over the past three years, would that number be correct? Sounds about right. Now, over the past 15 years, in each case in which this defendant was accused of patent infringement, it was your opinion that there was no patent infringement, correct? That's not true. It's been the last three years, not the last 15 years. Excuse me. Over the last three years, you've testified. In each of the cases where they were accused of infringing patents, it was your testimony that they did not infringe the patent. Correct. And at each time, you were paid a substantial amount of money, correct? I was paid $600 an hour. Now, in this case, do you know how much you've been paid to date, approximately? Exactly, no, approximately, maybe. OK, and what, what is your best estimate? Ballpark, maybe 300000 And in case number one, do you know how much you were paid? I, I don't have the figures in front of me. That was three years ago. You do know, approximately, sir, how much money you've been paid over the last three years by the same defendant, correct? Um, the aggregate number you had us pull together as a discovery request, um, so that number I do know, yes. And correct me if I'm wrong, that number is $6 million, correct? Correct, they're big cases. Okay. So as you sit here today, You've been paid $6 million by this same defendant testifying over and over again that they did not infringe patents, correct? Correct. And, of course, you're still an impartial expert witness, correct? I call him like I see him, Counselor. Except that in each and every case, you always see them the same way, correct? In I, each and every case that you've testified for this defendant, 15 times, three years, $6 million, always the same opinion, no infringement. Correct? That's where the facts lie in those cases. $6 million, three years, 15 cases, no infringement. That, those are the facts. Thank you, sir. Okay, so what do we see in this kind of a case? What we see is an expert witness who's taken a lot of work from one client. And that's a potential problem in terms of bias. When we actually have cases like this, what, that, what actually happens in, in trials in these cases is that the lawyer cross-examining the expert will go, sometimes will bypass the science, bypass the technology, and do their $6 million, $6 million man cross-examination. They'll put up, and that's what they did in these cases, they'll put up all 14 cases, put the name of the case, and put the amount of money the expert was paid, and then total all up, and then put $6 million on the board. When a jury sees this, and a jury hears this, there's a serious question as to whether or not that expert has any impartiality, and even more importantly, has any credibility. So the takeaway lesson in these kinds of cases is be very cautious in taking too much work from one client and be prepared to be cross-examined about the fees that you've been paid in these cases. Steve, what is SEEK and how does SEEK assist expert witnesses? SEEK is a testifying training company. And what we do is we provide many services for expert witnesses with regard to depositions and other, and other areas of testimony. We have conferences and seminars that we run throughout the year, throughout the country. 
We also have uh, books on depositions and cross-examination, which people can look at on our website. We have a, a deposition outline, which people can access for free at no charge at testifyingtraining.com. Um, and also, what we've, talking, what we've been talking about before, when expert witnesses find out that retaining counsel will not properly prepare them for their deposition, and when they know they have a challenging deposition coming up, what they can do is they can contact myself or you, Jim, or Nadine at our company, and we can work with them one-on-one -on -one to go over their concerns, their issues, and make sure that they excel at their deposition. Thank you very much.